Hello all mathematics lovers, it's me Roby. Welcome back. Simple question here. If I ask anybody what's the result of 2 plus 1, anyone would reply that 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 according to the fundamental law of mathematics. Yes, that's true. 2 plus 1 is 3. But would you believe if I say 2 plus 1 is equal to 5? <laughs> it seems like insane thinking, right? But I'm gonna to prove that a 2 plus 1 is equal to 5 by hacking the fundamental law of mathematics. In order to prove 2 plus 1 is equal to 5, let us consider any random parameters. Let's say a random parameters is 15 on the left hand side and 15 on right hand side. Two random parameters. Well, let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let's say it's minus 15 and minus 15 on right hand side as well. We can rewrite this minus 15 9 minus 24. That means 9 minus 24 is also 15. And we can rewrite this 15 as 25 minus 40. That means this mathematical statement and that mathematical statement, they, they are supporting each other so they can go back and forth. There is no contradiction in between two mathematical statement. And next one is, I can rewrite these things again here, 9 minus 24 and 25 minus 40. Same thing I'm writing. Only what I'm doing, I'm adding a extra numbers that is 16 on left hand side and adding 16 on right hand side to make it balance on both hand side. Look at here, 9 minus 24 plus 16 that is equal to go back minus 15 and 25 minus 40 plus 16 that's also minus 15. This 9 means 3 square. This minus 24, I can rewrite 2 times 3 times um, 4. That means 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 4 is 24. Plus uh, this 16 means 4 is square is equal to 25 means 5 is square minus this 40 means 2 times 5 is 10 times 4 is 40. 2 times 5 is four, 10. 10 times 4 is 40. Plus this 16 means 4 is square. Now at this point of my calculation, I'm going to apply a simple, very well-known mathematical formula. And this formula is called x minus y whole square. And this formula, everybody knows this formula from their childhood. x square minus 2xy plus y square. Look at here, interestingly, x and y, we can replace these two by three and four on left hand side. That means three is x, x square minus two xy plus y square. So I can rewrite this x by three and y by four. That means on left hand side become three minus four whole square. I can apply the same formula on right hand side as well. 5 minus 4 whole square. 5 minus 4 whole square. Interesting part is coming here. <coughs> on left hand side we have a square on left hand side and another square on right hand side. They are same and they have the same positive sign as well. So in that case we can eliminate this one and th that one from both hand side and remaining is simply 3 minus 4 on left hand side and right hand side remaining 5 minus 4. Then I can push this minus 4 on right hand side by making it plus 4 and left hand side remaining is 3 right hand side 5 minus 4 this one and this plus 4 is going other hand side by making it opposite sign that means minus will be plus 4. In this part minus 4 and plus 4 they cancelled each other and remaining left hand side is 3 and right hand side is 5. That means this 3 easily we can write 2 plus 1 and right hand side is 5. This is 
interesting right you can say aha how is it possible <laughs> well to make you aha i really uh, found this interesting mathematical calculation and i am sure if you enjoy this uh, video you will just write aha this mathematical statement is not correct according to the fundamental law of mathematics because somewhere in this enter calculation i did not follow the ground rules of mathematics that's the reason why i got this strange result my question is if you know where exactly i skip the ground rules of mathematics or i break the fundamental law of mathematics in this enter calculation you can write it in the comment section i am open to discuss it uh, there so if you know where exactly i break the fundamental law of mathematics you are open to discuss in the comment section you are welcome to discuss there let's explain it once again as i told you earlier that 2 plus 1 is not equal to 5 but i prove 2 plus 1 is 5 by hacking the fundamental behavior of mathematics to do that i take a random parameters minus 15 on left hand side and minus 15 on right hand side minus 15 means 9 minus 24 and this minus 15 means 25 minus 40 this a statement i am just adding an extra number that is plus 16. we have to write the same numbers on right hand side as well i am doing nothing just expanding this 9 as a 3 square minus 24 means 2 times 3 times 4 plus 16 means 4 square and then 5 is 5 is square 25 is 5 is square minus 40 is 2 times 5 times 4 and 16 is 4 is square interesting par part is coming in this line you can see a square minus 2ab plus b square or x square minus 2xy plus y square that means x minus y whole square x is 3 and y is 4 that means 3 minus 4 whole square same uh, rules applied on the right hand side as well 5 minus 4 whole square since this square and that square are same with the same sign i can eliminate both of them from both hand side and remaining is 3 minus 4 on left hand side 5 minus 4 on right hand side this 4 minus 4 and that minus 4 they cancelled each other so remaining is 3 is equal to 5 3 means uh, 2 plus 1 that is equal to 5 i prove here exactly here um this is <laughs> i really uh, puzzled at the beginning where exactly is the mistake do you know where exactly is the mistake or i made the wrong in, the, in this enter calculation if you know just write it in the comment section I have an ethical value for this video i do not recommend you to follow this type of mathematical calculation in your exam or in your practical life i am just doing the fun of mathematics to show you what exactly happens if you do a tiny mistake in your mathematical calculation be careful whenever you are doing a mathematical calculation make it precise without any error without any mistake enjoy mathematics enjoy with matasium thank you so much for watching and i wish you a happy and pleasant day thank you again See you next time. Bye-bye.